Oh my gosh, you know I love snooping inside other campers. So when I was recently at an RV dealership, I noticed this cool kind of futuristic looking teardrop camper. So you know I couldn't resist, but here's the thing. I've seen a lot of campers, but this one has some different features and things about it that I've never seen before in a small camper. This is the Intec Luna Rover. And when I say it's small, it does have an overall length of 15 feet and six inches. I guess I always compare other campers to the length of my teardrop camper, the Little Guy Max, which is 18 feet long. But check out this front window. Have you ever seen such a big, large window on a small teardrop camper before? Yep, I'm the window camper girl. Because I believe when it comes to small campers, windows are our best friends. They can really make our tiny campers feel so much larger and spacious. But the number one thing that I think is the most important feature about a teardrop camper or any camper is how well it's built. If I was shopping for another camper, this would be the first thing on my must have checklist. Now, I'm not an RV expert by any means, but when you get up close and you snoop inside, you do get a real good feel for how well it's built. I'm bringing this up because I feel like this is a well-built camper. And I don't always think that this is apparent when you're watching and seeing it on a video. What do you think about these blue lights? I think they're pretty cool. And they use them on the inside of the camper too, as you'll see. One of the features I don't think you're gonna find too often on a camper this size is such a large sink. I don't know how important this would be on your must have checklist, but it's a nice feature to have. So what is the number one feature on your must have checklist? Let me know. Okay, come on, let's go on inside so I can show you some of the features and the highlights of the interior on the Intec Luna Rover. <laughs> one of the first things I noticed when I stepped inside here was, wait, is that a fireplace? Yep, there's a fireplace in here. And this is why I love snooping inside campers because they're all different and you never know what you're gonna find. Okay, take a look at what this window looks like from the inside. Wow, this is a tiny space, but it doesn't feel as small as I thought it would. The only drawback I see with this window is that it doesn't open. At first I thought this was a seating area with a place to eat and storage cabinets. But then I opened up the middle one and discovered there was a cassette toilet in here. And here are the blue lights inside the camper. I really think they just add a nice ambiance. I also love my cubbies because they're an easy way to store things. Okay, I thought I had checked everything out and opened all the cabinets and saw everything there was to see. But then something dawned on me. When I first walked in and sat on the cushions to check them out, I thought, yes, these are comfortable cushions to sit on. But then I realized that they're foldable. So these cushions also convert into a bed or sleeping area. So you unfold them and voila, you've got a place to sleep. And when you're not sleeping, you fold them up and you've got a place to sit. I recently did a tour and review video of the Little Guy Shadow, which is another cool small teardrop camper. This camper also used foldable cushions to convert the dinette area into a sleeping or bed area, which I think is such a clever way to maximize space. And you're gonna wanna snoop inside that teardrop camper next. So to make it easy for you to find that video, I've put it on your screen right now. So click on this video right here and I'll see you over in that video next. Well, that's a wrap and I can't wait to see you again next Thursday.